Hi everyone, my name is Zi Cheng. Um, today I'm very glad uh, to uh, share with you our lecture, Physical Properties of Material, EMA 5001. It is a core course for a material science and engineering graduate program at FIU. And uh, in my opinion, the course name is a misnomer. The more appropriate name should be kinetics and uh, phase transformation for materials, especially inorganic material. Um, when you think of physical properties of material, quite often you are thinking of um, electrical, thermal, optical, magnetic, and maybe some other properties of materials. Electrical, you think about conductivity and dielectric property. Thermal, you think of thermal conductivity, thermal expansion. Uh, optical, you think about um, refractory index, um, extinction and coefficient. Magnetic property, you think about uh, um, magnetism, and the paramagnetism and uh, ferromagnetism and other magnetic property. However, this course is not about those. Instead, the course is about uh, kinetics and the phase transformation for materials. It would be the next course that you would study after you learn material thermodynamics. Hopefully, you learned it. Uh, in the previous semester, material thermodynamics at FIU, that course would be uh, EMA 5106. And then we would have the kinetics and the phase transformation. Kinetics is about um, rate or how fast a process happens. Um, and the phase transformation is about the transition uh, or change from one phase to another phase. Okay, again, the course is about kinetics, how fast a certain process, quite often a phase transformation happen, and phase transformation is the process that material go through from one phase to another phase. A simplest example would be for melting, for example, from a solid phase to liquid phase for the same material or there can be some other phase transformation. For example, uh, from alpha phase BCC ion to gamma phase FCC ion. Another example can be from graphite of carbon to diamond carbon. Okay, so the cause is about how do we understand kinetics or rate for these types of transformation and what would be the so-called mechanism and how fast do they happen and then it also includes the kinetic phenomena such as um, diffusion diffusion or uh, green girls microstructure changes it also involves phase transformation okay that is the major topics for this course. Again about myself, my name is Zi Cheng and here is my telephone number and the email address. You are welcome to call me if I'm available or better you are welcome to email me with your questions and we can always schedule uh, meetings in person or on Zoom and uh, this is the textbook and other course reference material. The textbooks that we're going to use is Phase Transformation in Metals and Alloys by D.A. Porter. And uh, another reference book that I find useful would be Kinetics in Material Science and Engineering by uh, D.W. Reddy, published by CRC Press. 
these are course policies which should be obvious uh, students can discuss homework but must independently finish it uh, if you have disagreement ab about uh, grades uh, let's try to resolve it in the same day homework will be collected and graded it will be submitted for online class online and uh, the accommodation for makeup quiz test or delayed term paper uh, will be accepted if that's proven medical necessity and uh, of course this class will accommodate disability or religious holidays finally and very importantly no cheating or plagiarizing in any form and if you have questions please check with me and no excuses will be accepted especially in the uh, in terms of plagiarizing and it may be reported and handled according to FIU policy okay now a little more about myself again my name is Zi Cheng and uh, I got my bachelor's degree from Tsinghua University in Beijing China and then after that I came to the United States and did my master's and PhD um, both in Georgia Institute of Technology or Georgia Tech and uh, I got my PhD in 2008 after that I worked as a research scientist in an industry company called DuPont in Wilmington, Delaware for five years. My research at DuPont was on uh, material for silicon solar cells, specifically metallization material, which is a essentially a combination of metal powders and uh, ceramics, specifically glass fluid, that deliver the functionality and uh, I also uh, worked a little bit about the lithium ion battery materials as well as uh, some other um, projects such as see-through solar panels um, then in 2013 I returned to academia I came to FIU to become a assistant professor um, and in 2019 I was promoted to associate professor my group website you can find it at uh, ac.fiu.edu A for advanced C for ceramics um, again that is ac.fiu.edu if you visit the website as I did a screen capture here you can see, know more about uh, what we do in my group such as our research the papers that we published the courses that I have taught um, group members including past uh, group members what papers have they published and um, uh, where they are right now okay um, apart from canvas we have maintained a permanent course website and this is the web address and the following would be a screenshot for the current uh, course website okay uh, on this website you can find the lecture slides typically in PDF format you may also find the homework answers and hint also in PDF format for the homework that we assign and as well as the links to the lecture videos hosted by YouTube and as well as on my own OneDrive and in future we may also uh, add links to additional content such as uh, self quizzes and additional resources this slide shows the grading information specifically there are different contributions to the overall grade such as homework quizzes exams and uh, these are for the grading criteria 
what would be the percentage grid in order to get a different letter grid. I'm not going to read it, just for your information.